My name is John Gatherall. I'm a Chartered Civil Engineer, a member of the Institution of Civil Engineers, and I work for Lancashire County Council. I'm standing here on the outskirts of Preston this afternoon with the M6 behind me. And during this clip, you'll see thousands of vehicles going past on the M6. But if we turn the clock back by 60 years, instead you'd have seen hundreds of men and machines building Preston Bypass, the first length of motorway opened in the UK. Preston Bypass today is a key part of the M6. It runs from junction 29 to junction 32. It's eight and a quarter miles long that stretch, and it was opened on the 5th of December 1958 by Harold Macmillan, the Prime Minister. The cost to build 60 years ago, around three million pounds. A bit of a bargain by today's standards. Preston was at the crossroads of the A6, a main north-south route, and the A59, a main east-west route. So traffic congestion in Preston was very, very bad. There was noise, there was fumes, there was congestion. It was not a nice place to live in, work in or travel through. Something had to be done. The motorway when it opened only had two lanes in each direction. There wasn't the money to build a third lane in each direction. So what they did was build an extra wide central reserve. Ten years later, when money was available, traffic figures had grown and there was more demand for the motorway network, the third lane was added to the extra wide central reserve. But this avoided the need to change any of the bridges on or over the M6 or any of the junctions on or slip roads on or off the M6. Genius. Civil engineers from Lancashire County Council, led by Sir James Drake, designed the motorway, the junctions, the bridges, the traffic signs, the drainage systems, the street lighting, the changes to the roads that went over or went under the M6. Shortly after it was opened, further sections of the UK motorway network opened. M4, M1, M10. And this saw an expansion of the network in a series of contracts that were rolled out in the early 60s and early 70s. And that led to the mushrooming or growth of the motorway network. But why did the UK need a motorway system? Well, probably one simple answer to that, congestion. In the 1940s and 1950s, car use was growing and growing. People were more mobile. People wanted to visit families and friends at times that suited them, not suited the railway or bus timetable. There was an increasing movement of freight on the highway network rather than the rail network. So larger, heavier lorries on the road. There's currently a lot of money being devoted to improving the highway network and the motorway network. And that's largely to improve um, business opportunities, open up development sites, support residential development. It's a very exciting time to be in civil engineering. We're looking for people that enjoy solving problems, that enjoy working in a team, that enjoy contributing to a finished product that benefits the travelling public. There's opportunities to work outside on site or inside in the design office, or perhaps in your career you'll do a bit of both. Thank you.